a cat's tail. Hello, I am Tim and I am a cat. Everyone thinks it's odd that my name is Tim and not Tom. What's your name? You look like a human. I hope you are not a mean one. Some of them are very cruel. I know what you must be thinking. A talking cat. How can it be? But it's true. Cats, in fact all animals speak their own language. Sometimes humans forget that we have feelings as well as we like to let others know how we feel. I for one love to talk. Let me tell you a little about myself. I am Korat, that's a breed of cat. You know, my ancestors came from Thailand. Have you ever been there? I have heard it's a beautiful country. It has both mountains and beaches. I learned that it has a great history. I have never been there though. I was born in a city in India that humans call Delhi. I think it's an important city because I have met many important cats here. Once I ran to a cat who had visited Rashtrapati Bhavan. He had seen the president of India from behind a bush on the beautiful lawns. I didn't like that cat very much. He kept boasting a lot. He could he couldn't stop talking about all the important ministers and politicians he had seen from under a chair. He said that the finance minister had even scratched him behind his ears and that the prime minister had called him the most beautiful cat in the city. Most cats are quite proud and fishy about their appearance. But this one thought too much of himself. I am not a very important cat. I have no home. I wander around the streets. Every day is an adventure. It's thrilling. I, ke- I leap from building to building, squeezing through ca- cracks in the wall, watching the world go by. And I simply love to climb. Yes, we cats are good climbers. Thanks to all the cartoons and stories about us, most of you think that we spend much of our time chasing ca- chasing mice. The truth is that we don't really have much time for the little fellows. We would much rather be taking a stroll, finding something to eat or taking a nap. My favorite spot for a rest is on the top of the brick wall that goes around the park. In the mornings, I watch the humans jog and stretch. Sometimes many of them gather together and laugh loudly. They are members of laughing club. I find it quite strange and scary. In the evenings, the children come to play on the swings and slides. Some of them bring their pets, dogs and cats. I feel a little jealous of those pets. Their owners love them so much. They take such good care of them. But I like my independence too. Yes, I have to look after myself, but I can go wherever I want to, whenever I want to and whoever I want to. Once I stayed in a school for a few days, some of the children were very nice. They would play with me and stroke my fur as they walked past. But some of them are very mean to me. They would poke and kick me. One even tried to pull me by my tail. That's even when I decided to leave the school. I knew I would miss my friends who loved who I love to play with, but I was scared that one of the naughty children who would hurt me very badly. That's what I have come to talk you about. All animals are friendly if you are friendly towards them. They won't try to harm you unless they feel they are in danger. So be nice to them. Remember, they have feelings too. They can feel happy and sad. They feel pain, they cry and they smile. So, if you see anyone being mean to animals, you should tell them not to tease or hurt us. We are fond of you and are grateful to you for taking care of us. But you don't want to be kind to us. At least leave us alone. We can take care of ourselves. Thanks for listening. It was really nice of you. Take care. Bye-bye.